The last thing we're going to debug in this series is the calculator. And the calculator is a simple application in Unity that allows you to multiply, um, subtract, add numbers and divide numbers. Um, and let's figure out what kind of errors this calculator has. Um, first of all, we can go to our script and select the calculator script. And this script here is attached to our calculator. But let's uh, test it out to see what's, what works and what doesn't work. If we play the game or the, just the scene, we can try to say 1 uh, plus 1. Okay, so when I do this, nothing is appearing on the screen and I'm getting some kind of a null reference exception here. So let's figure out what's wrong here. Let's try to double click here. And we can see that there is something called update display that gives us a null reference. Let's try to click here to set a breakpoint. And let's try to click on attach to Unity. Sorry about that, that was my phone vibrating on the table. Um, and let's try to go back to Unity. Close this one down and try one more time to say one plus, so let's see, the display text is actually null and display is fine. Display is what we are writing in the display and it's one plus, that's fine. But you can see the display text or yeah, display text is null, which means that we have never set the display text. So we need to find out how to assign this display text. So this is a very important thing when you are um, writing code and you get these null references. It's always good to set a breakpoint and then figure out what is actually null here. And you can see right now that it's, it is this display text. So let's try to stop and go to the top here. We'll see we have a display text, which is a serialized field, which means that it's something we need to set in the inspector. So if we go back here and find our canvas and find our display, you see under the display we have a text here and this is the text we need to reference. So if we click on the calculator which has the display text on it, the, the calculator script on it, you'll see that there is not there has not been set a display text where we need to write the numbers and everything when we start calculating stuff. So click on the calculator and drag the text to this empty field. And I know maybe it's going to be a little hard to understand everything with this calculator because I'm not going through all the code because this uh, tutorial is about debugging and not about how to create a calculator. So bear with me if, if some of the things are a little hard to understand concerning the calculator functionality. Um, if we run this now, we can try to see what happens if I click one uh, plus one equals two. Okay, so it kind of works, but you can see there is one mistake here. If, if I run the game again, You'll see that first time when I click the one, nothing comes on the display. It's not until I click the plus, it's written here. And if I write two, it's not until I click equals, it is writes three, three. So we need to update the display when we press the one button. Why doesn't it do that? Let's try to go here and see. We have a function called update display here. And update display is called when we click an operator like plus, minus, or divide down here. But what if we click on our click numbers? As you can see here, we don't even need to set a breakpoint. We can see that we set the values and everything, but we forget to call our update display. So let's go up here and simply just call update display. There we go. So we didn't even need to debug to find this error here. Let's try to save this and run the game again and one plus one equals two okay there's still something wrong here because i would like it to write one plus one on the display but right now it just writes uh let's see if we if we reopen the game uh, the, the calculator see if we write run and then i write plus one it's fine and then when I press the one more, it should add another one here after the, the plus, but it actually replaces everything. So there's something wrong in the function where we are adding something to the display. Let's see, we are doing that here. So let's try to set a breakpoint inside the click numbers.
When you have created the breakpoint and attached it to Unity, you can go to your game and play it. And in here we'll have to run it again and say um, 1. And as you can see here, when I click 1, the value is 1 and it adds it to the current value, which is 1. And it sets the display to 1. So the display is showing the correct number right now. Okay, so if we continue and go back into Unity and write plus, see nothing happens, it's fine. And then we click 1 again. And we see we have the value, which is 1. The current value is nothing right now. So we press click. So we have the current value, it's 1. The display is 1 plus, which is right. We are showing 1 plus right now in the display. And the value is 1. So we need to add 1 to 1 plus 1. So if we step here, we'll see that it replaced 1 plus 1 with 1. And that's because we are actually resetting display to value instead of because we just set it equal to value. So right here we can already see that we are um, changing display to the value instead of adding the value onto the display here. So let's try to stop and say plus equal instead like we do up here with the current value. Let's try to stop here, save and run the game one more time and say one plus one so now it writes the correct thing in the display and it's equal to two okay so that's already three bugs that we found so let's try to multiply and see what happens here um we can try to say let's try to say one oh, not one that's not funny to say let's say five multiplied by two so let's say five multiplied by two equals and nothing happens when I press equals. So there's something wrong here in the multiply function or the equals function. So let's jump into the script and find the calculate function. The calculate function is the function that is called when I click the equals button. So we can start by setting a breakpoint here on the switch case here. Let's attach it to Unity. Go back into Unity and have this 5 multiply by 2 written in the display and click equals then you can see it sets a breakpoint so it says the current operator is x and if i step in here it actually just jumps over everything so it checks that the current operator is x but it says if if it's plus we call the add function uh, if it's nothing we call subtract um if it's um, the, the the dash here we call divide and if it's star we call multiply so we are actually mixing up two values here or two different um, operators here we are looking for star inside our switch case but when we are multiplying it's actually an x we're using from our button so we have to stop this and replace our star with an x to use the correct operator as, as it was written here and also any subtract we'll have to use a minus as we just saw there was an error here because the subtract didn't have a, anything in it let's try to save and if we rerun the game and we say 2 multiplied by 5 equals 7 okay so now we can multiply but it multiplies wrong so we'll have to take a closer look at the multiply function so let's try to set a breakpoint here when we call multiply and attach here let's just rerun the game to get a clean slate and say 5 multiplied by 2 equals and we're using f11 to step into let's see the current value is equal values 0 which is 5 plus values 1 which is 2 so we already found the error here we can see the current value is 7 because it takes the first value of 5 and, multi and adds it to 2 instead of multiplying and but we are storing the correct value here 10 so we have to replace the plus here with multiply 
it's just replace plus with the star here because that's what we use for multiplying operator um, and now it should work correctly here so let's try to say 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10 yay so there we have it now we have a functioning um, calculator and we fixed all the bugs that we just could find here um, I hope that these um, small fixes here were useful for you to have a better understanding of debugging um, I know it's a little hard because it's a setup scenario I'm just putting up some different uh, errors and debugging them right away because I know where they are um, but this should give you an idea about how you can debug your own project when you project uh, when you get some different errors so that is basically what I wanted to show you about debugging. Um, I hope it was useful and thank you very much for watching. And remember to subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter if you haven't done it already. Also, please consider to uh, support me in any way. You can do it by going to the Patreon page where you can get some different perks if you support me there. Or you can download any of my projects by clicking the link in the bottom of the screen right now. Thank you very much for watching this series and I hope you'll take a look around to look at my other projects or other videos as well.